dismissing You're willing that- to give Brock Purdy a chance at being pretty good. Lamar Jackson's already good. He's already really, really good. But the hell... You, I you don't think the 49ers like- would be the... Fa- just answer this question. I do. Would the 49ers I, I, be gonna, better with I'm Lamar not Jackson? I'm not going to disrespect Lamar like that. I mean, yes, I'm, they would, Stoney. So, but at what cost, Matt? And I don't then know. why are you and Evan acting like this guy has not left the Ravens standing in the rain the last two seasons at the most important juncture of the season? Like, you guys are just dismissing well, you that dismiss- like he was healthy. Well, you dismiss He's got every- his own injury issues. I'm, I'm just saying, and and if we can take the Band-Aid off, by all accounts, he's somewhere in his penthouse thinking, I need, I got to get more than Deshaun Watson, allegedly. Here's the thing. I'm going to be honest with yeah. you. This is one where uh, I'm not overthinking it. If you're telling me the San Francisco 49ers could get Lamar Jackson, why wouldn't you go get Lamar right. Jackson? If I, now, if it's like, well, it's going to cost uh, you both, it's fine, that's, that's okay, no, I get it. I get it. But if you can fadangle the salary cap, I, I just don't understand. Like, you think he's better than anything they got here? Lamar and, Jackson? And, and, and you know, I mean, do you would... want to take that question yeah. back? <laughs> well, I just answered it. I said they would be the favorites, but see, and, and I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not really alone. If winning is the number one priority for the Niners, go get him. That's like, I am a little surprised you're not in that camp. Because I do think, like, man, does Lamar change the calculus? Like, how could you look at San Francisco and say, well, they they just uh, they just got better than the Eagles. But, let's, okay. If, and I'm willing to do this because, it, you know, it, stuff like this doesn't just happen. Why won't it happen? What What's the reason it won't happen? Resources. Well, I, I disagree with that. I actually don't think that's the reason. I think they could figure out a way to, to find the resources. I think the number one reason is Kyle doesn't want that smoke. Uh, hey, the Don Nelson thing, I feel like I could just take unplug my mic and walk off. Because that's it. I believe he has that mecha, that gene, that trait. Don't make him a bad person, but I'm with you. I feel like that, like Stein, he he loves what he did with Brock Purdy because he gets a majority of the credit. I got a question. What's a bigger risk? All right, what's a bigger risk? Trading for Lamar Jackson, giving up two firsts and a quarterback— Or moving up and trading two first rounders for a guy well, who played <laughs> yeah. Division One in the FCS who didn't play like to me. There's your it's answer. A, yeah. What's a bigger gamble? Giving up all those draft picks for Trey Lance or going and getting Lamar Jackson right now? No, the Trey Lance by far. Okay. So I listen again. People say I yes, I am playing devil's advocate. Because I don't, I'm just throwing the question out there and wondering where Niner fans are uh, on this. Whenever a great player comes available, I mean, hell, the Giants, who we talked about last the last year, yeah, Otani, Judge, Correa, Warriors. Who do we talk about? Whoever's available, big boy, Duran, yeah. uh, Jalen Brown, Carl Anthony Towns right. comes up a lot. All I'm saying is this is Lamar Jackson. All right. Uh, let's go to Jeremy in North Oakland. Hey, Jeremy, how you doing, man? What's up, fellas? What's up? Uh, listen, first off, I'm happy y'all are back at the four-hour mark instead of three. Oh, yeah, wow. Every single day, and I appreciate it. Uh, man. That being said, uh, as, as, as much as I would love to see Lamar Jackson in a 49ers uniform, it, it, unfortunately, the cost is too great. You I mean, you're talking about the two first round picks off top and at least two players, you know, that could be Trey or Debo or Ayuk or Kittle. And then on top of all that, um, we're going to have to pay him and we just don't have the money. So uh, now, now that being said too, in some crazy world where it does happen, whatever the cost, I'll be the first one out the door to buy a Lamar Jackson jersey. Peace, y'all. Makes sense. Makes sense. Now, you know I love Vegas. You know I love gambling. I I played poker, five card, no stud. And I'm just going to say this to you. Lynch talked yesterday at the owner's meeting. 
and he talked about his quarterback position. Do you think it, if we even thought he was thinking about making a move with Lamar Jackson, that that conversation would have went any different? Obviously, he's not going to share with this that they're even talking about it. But didn't that sound like a man that knew and they brought in Darnold to see what's up with Purdy? And if Purdy's able to go, he's the star. That sounded like a man of a team, a GM that knew, you know what, we're good at the quarterback position. I'm sure Kyle, I'm sure uh, Lynch said a lot of things about how excited they were about their offense right before they went out and got Christian McCaffrey. Yeah. And maybe something new will develop with with uh, Lamar Jackson over the next few days that'll kind of take it to another level. I, I don't know what what that would be, but listen, would the price be high? Absolutely, yep, man. But I mean, like, I I don't know. I you and I always we always debate. Rick James, know, I like. I like the fundamental. I like guys who can pass yeah. and to basketball. I, you know, can they play the right way? And you're, you know, you love highlights. And this guy is, this guy's electric. And believe it or not, I'm at the point like, yeah, like even though I get it, he's not a perfect quarterback. He is. I appreciate that. He is good. He is better. Than any quarterback they have on the roster. Okay, so you bring him That's in, all I'm saying. and let's say, let's just okay. say, you you give him up. Like, when are you going to? Let me ask you. Oh, go yeah, ahead. I'm sorry. No, when you are go. you going to put back into the team and stop doing what they did with Trey Lance? When are you going to start and you know using those number ones to make your team better later? Like, you can't just keep tricking them off. Now you're getting something in return, but I just don't see the Lynch and Kyle. Like, you know what? Let's just keep. Kicking the can down the road. Lamar Jackson would be kicking the can down the no, road? No, I'm talking about like the investment. If you have to give up some picks, when are you going to? Because you got none. No, well, nobody cared about giving up two picks for a guy who didn't, never played, never took nah, a snap. I feel like they learned something from that. And that's what the 408 says. And I'm, I'm, I'm willing that's to. Uh, I'm, like, I'm willing to say this. Now, Lamar's different because you're saying he's a known commodity as opposed to Trey rolling the dice. 408 on the Comcast business tax line. Matt, they already lost that bet. Maybe they don't want to make that bet well, two times wow. in a row. That's and fair. I didn't see that. That's fair, 408. Steiny obviously didn't watch Purdy last year. No, I watched him, and I liked a lot of what he did. He was good. I don't think he was great. He was good. Right. I'm worried about his ceiling. That's that, all. That's real talk. That's all. And for a guy that was drafted where he was drafted, that's that's reasonable. But at least I would hope you would say, hey, Goo, I have a erased or I do think differently in regard to maybe it ain't that big of a stretch that Brock is the man with what you've seen. Because that wasn't a cakewalk, what he did. He be, beat Seattle. He beat Dallas. Yeah, the offense wasn't electric. Dallas's defense played good. But, damn, the dude's 2-0 and and two starts in the playoffs. And I'm giving, what do they say, a mulligan for the Philly game. Here's the one thing I want to ask, and I, I'm, I'm, I'll start out by staying out of it. Evan, are you back there? I can't see you. Who's a better passer, Lamar Jackson or Brock Purdy? Evan? I've seen Lamar Jackson do it more. Wow. No, but but this is actually what I asked Guru before the show because, you know, people know he's a Cowboys fan. If the 49ers could go out and get Dak Prescott, would you be okay with that, Guru? I would. I would listen, everybody knows I don't like Dak. But you put Dak in this Niner offense, and he's got weapons everywhere. He'll be what he's been in the last few years, put up monster numbers, and they might win it under the tutelage of, but he can throw the ball better than Lamar. But they, like, they feel comparable as far as their talent. Lamar's a better runner. Dak's a better yeah, passer. I, okay. But you asked me that. I would take Dak over Lamar. That That's where I'm at. Oh, gotcha. wow. Oh, no, no doubt. I'm being real. Somebody asked YouTube. I just that's where I'm at on Lamar, man, and I hate that I feel like I'm that's that's See, just I, where I'm at, man. Right. Kyle was not playing that. And I wonder Kyle. Are like, you are you in a huge minority saying I think you're in a big minority saying you'd take Dak over Lamar? No. Or am I way. misreading? Oh no, I you're you're misreading so that I think the no. other oh, thirty one teams 
have shown no interest for Lamar. Now, you can say, goo, that's CNN. That's politics. There's stuff going on. Look around. Nobody's trying to get this savant that you, Evan and Matt Nahigian, are saying he is. There's a reason, I believe. Yeah, he had that MVP I think and he the, was I think the money. Code. I think the money is a, the biggest part of it. And him and then, staying healthy, please stop no, adding that. No, I think oh. number two... I think number two is the fact that he doesn't have an agent. It's it's kind of that is convoluting things. That's he doesn't know what he's doing. I don't think. But who would? I got to ask you a question, and and help me. I'm asking, why would the NFL care about the middleman? Well, I don't know why, but it's a Richard rule. Sherman did his own contract. Okay. So you think His owners was, are saying, but Richard, don't pay that guy who could change our franchise because he's representing himself? I don't believe that to be the case. Because if oh, they hey, thought this know, dude was Michael Vick in his prime, then, hello? Hey, we try to get Lamar. This is such and such. Let's talk numbers. Well, who are you talking to? Lamar the, Lamar Jackson okay, representing well, himself. And, right. And he's not an expert at, a, at representing himself. Like, I don't like that he doesn't have an agent. And let's mm. remember, when Sherman negotiated that. that contract with the Niners, it was like a one-year deal. <laughs> it was like a one-year deal. No, this guy, I, I was waiting you know, for you to catch I, that. I don't like, right. I don't like that he doesn't have boy. an agent. Mm. I'm, I am so pro-agent, it's unbelievable. So you're not saying athletes are dumb or not no. smart enough to do it. I couldn't be an... I love, wow, tell us Let what me tell you something. I'm, I'm 58 <laughs> years old. What I've represented myself yeah. my entire life <laughs> in any job that I've ever gotten. Confidence is key. I have Matt Steinmetz has gotten Matt Steinmetz zero raises <laughs> in his lifetime. Oh, boy. <laughs> None. Uh. In I, fact, I, I go in and come out with less. I, it's I'm unbelievable how bad I am at negotiating. You got I'm dead serious. Know what no, it's got, it's got but nothing to you. do with that. It's, so you think that's why nobody's coming knocking my, on the door? I think it might be one of the reasons. Okay. I think there's uh, there's always a lot of reasons for everything. Like <laughs> Maybe the Niners have just said, it's too much. It's too much to give up what they're asking. Fine. Maybe another team says, well, we're fine at quarterback. Because we got yeah. Justin Herbert. Maybe another team says, you know what? We're not good enough yet that Lamar is going to get us to 10 wins. You know, whatever. Yeah. I mean, it, it could be could be a lot of different things. Um, a lot of people are, oh, no, 408, I'd take Dak. Yeah. I'd take Dak easily, too. Yeah. Uh, I just Goo, like that Goo, spiral Goo, Goo, are you drunk? Wow. Dak over Lamar, come on, my guy. Evan on YouTube. Guru Dak over Lamar. Wow, unbelievably horrible decision. Goo, you do know Lamar was MVP. Yeah, you got some. You got some people saying wow. Dak. Lamar had no weapon but one tight end. How about that? Oh my god! See now that I don't mean how about that, yeah. like in your face. I mean, but the whisper is quarter right. top it, top tier receivers were like, I ain't gonna put yeah. up numbers. So which is it? But you put him here in this Niner, you're going to put up numbers. 